But, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> me, being being, bleh, me and Being Machine was probably the first game I saw because we used to have a Mega Drive. Uh, ended up breaking. Because uh, my brother tells me tells me that he uh, looked, saw something on the back and pulled it, out, pulled it out and then ended up breaking it. So, you know, we can't... I don't know if we still have it lying around it. We probably just chucked it out. But... Yeah, I think Me Being Machine was the first game I saw, because I remember when we uh, found out that Mega Collection was a thing, and as my sister especially was really uh, ecstatic that it had Me and Being Machine, and, you know, it was, um, when, well, when I saw the game again, I had massive flashbacks, like, I never, I don't think I ever played it, but just seeing it again, I, I, I was just like, I swear I've, I swear I've seen this game before, and I was, I don't know, like, that alone kind of makes me believe that I did see it as a kid, but I was just too young to play it, um, so that, that's an interesting thing, like, yeah, back then we really were pr pretty meh, like, we weren't, we could still get food and everything. Like, that, that was all fine, but yeah, we weren't really the best, uh, the most wealthy family back then, and we could only afford so much. Like, we had a really uh, small TV. I forget what type of TV it was, but. And hey, we got the star again without even trying. But, um, yeah, the. We could only afford. A what a Mega Drive and one game with it, so you know, times were very different back then for us. And it's just crazy how much time has passed since then. All right, now it's saying that you can go into that big star up door up there, but I'm not gonna do that again. This is a hundred percent playthrough, so. We're not going to be going for the uh, Bowser just yet. But, um... But, yeah. It's amazing seeing how much uh, I, uh, I've i changed personally. And just how much different I I am with uh, ga my gaming experiences have changed over the, over the years as, <coughs> excuse me, as well. Like... I used to be mainly just into platformers uh, as a kid, like, played Ocarina of Time, Banjo-Kazooie, um, well, the Crash Trilogy, that counts. Um, I can't remember many other platformers on the N64 that I played. Like, I didn't play, keep in mind, I didn't play Mac Rayman 2 until uh, a couple years after I started this channel. Uh, that was a playthrough that needs to be redone. Whenever I can get, um, uh, was it, N64 games recorded again, I will plan to redo Rayman 2 eventually. I don't know when, but eventually. But, okay. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of a little bit close right now, but, yeah. Anyways, let's get up here. Take on the the Womp King. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pal me, wimp. Ha! Alright, I'll do just that then. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it's basically really self-explanatory. I don't think he can actually crush you if you uh, just crouch. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, it's wrong. But there's a way you can cheese this. But I don't exactly know what it is, but... Oh, come on! Okay, well... Then. No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel... Uh, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. Alright. Oh. Here we 
Hiya. All right, and now we go back. But yeah, if I had to choose, um, well, if I had to pick like a top five favorite Mario, or f top five or top ten, this would this game would definitely make it out of those, out of that, out of the bunch. Um, like, it, it's not just our nostalgia. Well, part of it, most, a lot of it comes, uh, I guess, comes down to that, but. I just enjoy the game in general, like, it's a lot of fun to play, I like, uh, trying to do cool tricks, which may or, not, may or may not have been intentional, and I just like being able to go for any star you please, most of the time, like, it's not always guaranteed, sometimes you're gonna have to get something before you can do a certain star, or you have to be in a certain objective or, or something like that, but most of the time, you can uh, get any star, which I really do like, and I do kind of miss in the other games. Like, I do kind of like that Sunshine and Galaxies and the Galaxy games are more episode focused, so like it's more of an ongoing story in a sense with every uh, world you go to, which is pretty cool in its own right, but I also just like being able to explore these open environments and just finding any star I please. So, you know, I like I like both uh, methods of gameplay, but I do kind of hope that at some point in the future, Nintendo decide to go back to how Mario 64 did it, with like just being open world, and you can go for any star or whatever collectible they decide if they do something else. Because, um, you know, it doesn't- oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I've never failed this. No! Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't think you lose a life though. Alright, let's try this again. Because yeah, this is the... Oh, I haven't talked about the wind cap at all, but yeah, it's a... Uh... It's not a flying power-up, which um, is... I think it's the only flying power-up in the 3D series that's like in actual levels. But I'm not counting the red, the red star in Galaxy because that's only in. You can only use that in um, the Comet Observatory. So yeah, I'm not really gonna count that. <laughs> but come on, All right? Can I please get? to the platform. Yes! There we go. And now we can get all the uh, red exclamation mark boxes. So now, wh what we can do is go back to Womp- uh, not, not Womp's Fortress. Um, Bob on Battlefield and actually get that final star we missed. Let's go and get that sucker. All right. So now let's do this. And also, like the music-wise, like uh, it's not that it doesn't have that many tracks, but the tracks it does have are just classics, flat out. Like the um. Nearly everyone knows the uh, whole Bob and Battlefield theme. Um, I love the uh, the cap themes, uh, the water level theme, which loads of it's pretty much unanimously loved. So yeah, I love that. And the you can't remember, forget the classic uh, Cooper Cooper's Road, but. Was remixed quite a few times in the future. Oh come on, I uh, that could have been really cool. Dang it, man! Right, let's try that again. Oh yeah, you can take damage if you fall too far. But oh 
man. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky. It did. It does sometimes take a few tries to do this. So it doesn't help that the, uh, the, uh, it doesn't let me see coins from that far away. Limitations and all that, but, you know, it would be nice, but, alas, we can't, we can't have nice things here. Right, I'm just gonna shoot out. That almost worked. That probably would work if I didn't have the wind cut. Let's just grab it. Whee! Oh, nice! Back to Womp's Fortress. I just, I also just like how fast paced this game can be. Like, you just keep going and going, and there's no. The loading times are really quick, and it doesn't take that long to get to the next point. I'll get to the next level, and it has a specific flow to it that I really enjoy. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. Piranha Plants are probably the- yeah, they're the most- they're the hardest incarnation- incarnation of the- of, of them in the series, like, yeah, to- basically, I just dash into them now, like, back then I just, uh, kind of stealthed up to them, which is what the game intends you to do, I believe, but, yeah, I just tend to just, uh, what is it? I tend to just, like, um, dash into them now, since it's fast, they don't expect it. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah. I think that's the only time you see a bullet bill in the game. And they look really freaky looking in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with old, um, hardware. I'm uh, at man. I must must say though, like they built that they built that little tower thing uh, really quickly. <laughs> like I just took out the um, the Womp King, and then right after, oh, there's a tower there. Kind of crazy. Okay, I want to see if the Bob and Buddy is there yet. Yay! How you doing? Alright, now what, what we want to do is get in here and blast the wall down because that's how we roll, even though we're not playing a Sonic game. <laughs> oh, come on! That really... <laughs> Should have, should have gone up. Now, I've seen some crazy speedrun strats where someone like jumps to where the star is on the wall, and he instantly grabs it without even breaking it like this, and that's freaking, freaking crazy. Like he just jumps towards where it would be. You don't even have to break it, and you, and you just automatically grab it. Like there are some crazy tricks you can do in this game. Most of them, which most of them are which of which I don't really know how to do the, uh, too well. So 
I'm just gonna be do mainly doing things normally with a little bit of stylish points here and there, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'll do what I can, but again, I'm not gonna do too many crazy stunts. Right, can I grab you now? Yay! Alright. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So now we need this to get a star in a cage. We just look for the shadow. Oh! Dang it! No, 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 no! Oh, man. You had to fall to the left. Or oh, fall higher than I wanted you to. Oh, the momentum. Alright, can you come back? Oh, come on. Where are you? I hear you. Hi. Can you give me another lift, please? Yay! Okay. Eh. Yes! <laughs> oh dear. And now you get to the... And now we have to get the, uh... Coin and red coins. The coin star and the red coin star. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we want to be killing these guys as well because they give us blue coins, which I think debuts in this game. And they give us five coins, so they're really nice. Now, I'm not too fond of the whole hundred coin mission thing, but it's... It's not too bad in this game. It gets really obnoxious in Sunshine, which we'll, we'll get to in the future. Not for some time, but we'll get to it. And there, you have to pick specific missions half the time that have the right amount of coins in them, because sometimes you'll pick a mission and you'll find out, oh, great, I don't even have enough. There aren't even enough, enough coins here for me to get 100 coins. I don't think that's the case in this game, like, if it is, it's extremely rare. But I'm pretty sure that every mission in the game you can get 100 coins. Provided it's not obviously a Bowser level or something like that. Because, you know, stages like where we got the wing cap, you don't need 100 coins there. I mean, you can try, but I don't even think it's possible in those stages. At least my knowledge. Alright. No, don't fall down. Yeah, it's... Very annoying when you die, though, because, like, you don't... Well, you're not going to carry over any of the coins you got. So if I died, we would have we would have to get all 100 coins again, which... Is the main reason why I don't really care too much about 100 coins. Um, it's just kind of frustrating when you work so hard to get so many coins and then you die when you're at like 90. Like, that kind of sucks. Alright, this one's a little bit tricky. There we go. I didn't intend to kick, but that works. Yeah, they respawn really quickly. Oh, come on. I don't know how I grabbed on so quickly. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm surprising myself a little bit. Okay. You guys. Just... I can just get the star from you. Yep, there we go. You won't see it, yeah, you won't see it in levels, I believe, but, yeah, once you exit, 50 coins equals a 1-up, which maybe seem a little bit weird, but, you know, 
Oh, also. Yes. Not this. If it all decides to fall. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, not. I don't know if a lot of people know about that, but. Okay. Okay. But yeah, you can knock that pla uh, little plank over, or large piece of piece of wood over, I should say, and make it a bridge, which is pretty cool. Right. We did get the coin star, did we? Didn't we? I'm gonna just assume that we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, because it said, yeah. Alright, and that should be it. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay. Now we can move on to cor course three. Which I believe is right here. We're not exactly, we're not exactly going to go to the course, like, the exact course just yet. Because if we go up here... There's a little mini challenge, I guess you could call it. You get all the red coins. There's not too many of these, like, Sunshine goes o really uh, overboard with eight red coins, but this game... It does, I think there's one in every level, um, and there's a couple of uh, bonus, bonus areas, but it doesn't go too crazy with it. Like, Sunshine is where it goes, not go where it goes nuts. This game is a little bit more tame. Yeah, just listen to that nice, calming music. Oh, man. Easily one of the best mu uh, underwater themes. Not, not just in Mario, just in general. It's so calming. It actually makes me kind of want to go to the water levels. They're still the low... I, I'd say they're still the lowest point of the game. The water levels. But the music just makes it so much better. Yeah. Here we go. And now we have to. And now we're going to go to the actual course free or world free or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Barely even landed in that. In that. Plunder and a sunken ship. 